artist here in Wichita, Kansas. I'm a songwriter and also a pianist. I like to compose my own music just to bring some of myself into every song that I filled with many layers of sounds. Um, a lot of them are a reflection of myself. Um, happy sounds, things about love. I would put in a category, my type of music is has a little bit of R&B, um, soul, um, even just one of my songs, I even added a little type of reggae sound. It's just, I love multiple types of sounds, many genres, so I try to incorporate them in my CD inner layer. So just like me, how I'm open with music, I try to incorporate that so you can have a little bit of everything. So it's kind of hard to put it in one category. seven or eight, um, it was a gift given to me, and it was a gift that stuck around with me no matter where we transitioned to in our lives. We, I used to live in Savannah, Georgia, and that was one um, piece of furniture that I had to have with me. I didn't care about anything else but my piano. Um, I started picking up playing by ear, and um, it's just almost like it was just like it came naturally. Just listening from the music that I love and playing songs that I like to learning about chords and uh, just making music of my own and also singing to them. So the piano just became like a friend to me, the second nature. always been a part of my life and I always would take situations that I was going through and compare it to songs like it was like my journal like I could listen to a song on the radio and remember what point in my life um, was affected by that song so just listening to songs like by Stevie Wonder and Sade um, and then even now like you have John Mayer or Jones Jill Scott, all these people that put stories into their songs and it's just natural, like, it just feels right. It made it easier for me to say, hey, I can do this too. filled with stories. Um, I look at it as a storytelling element, whether it was things I went through personally or things that, you know, I've been there with my friends or my relatives that I've given them advice about. Most of my songs are about love, whether it be love for yourself, love for others, or just love for being where you're at. specifically in Wichita, Kansas, is really cool because a lot of people are open um, to hear new music. It's, nothing's really defined and um, it's easy to meet other artists who are willing to just jam out with you and um, it's all about for the love of music. So it's really cool to network in the local environment. It's just 
one minute you can uh, meet somebody, next thing you know you're sitting down writing a song with them. It's real open and laid back. And that's what I love about being on the music scene. Is started out as just, you know, us saying, hey, you know, would you like to play with me at Rock Talk Thursdays to doing more venues and trying to move forward with the music and getting it out there by doing more shows. So we've kind of decided that we're going to stick together. That's the goal. That's the question. Tell me all this impossible. available on cdbaby.com. Also, I have mp3 cards, so if you see me out and about, you know, just let me know you're interested and I can get you one of those. And um, if you want to find website, pictures, and bio, just things about me, I try to update it and respond to people, you know, as quickly as I can. Nobody.